So this wasn't a large quake, but the location got us wondering about the risk to an area that is so critical to California's water supply. The Delta relies on more than a thousand miles of aging levees to protect local farms and community communities. Wilson Walker traveled to the epicenter near Isleton to look at just how vulnerable the area could be in an even stronger quake. Yeah, Juliet, if, if you're like me and you went looking for the little yellow drop pin that the USGS puts on those first first little maps that we go looking for when something like this happens, I think this is just about it. I came out here, went poking around. I think this little bit of farmland here out on the very edge of Brannon Island is where this, this earthquake was centered. Now, if you came out here, you could you could forgive someone for looking at this land and not immediately thinking, you know, geologic activity. But yeah, of course, this land is moving and this land is also the possible location of one potential California earthquake catastrophe. Yeah, Punch is a big brand. They're a local. Yeah, this is an old building. It's uh, been here for a long time. Isle Town was uh, erected, I guess, 120, 130 years ago. So these Nothing shattered at Isleton's Delta that. Boys dispensary, but the old building did get a good shake. Cameras caught the staff jumping out of their seats just before 930. You got security guard too up top. <laughs> he even got up and came in. It was a trip for sure. Definitely doesn't happen out here often, at least not how I've been here. Yeah, we're fortunate that the earthquake today was just a magnitude 4.2. Um, Austin Elliott is with the USGS. Very large earthquake centered near the Delta would pose a particularly significant threat to both the protective systems that the levees provide, as well as the water distribution intake systems. At the very center of California's water system, so much of what we can use comes from or through the Delta. The Delta itself depends on levees to contain the water and all of that could be compromised if the earthquake is strong enough. Uh, larger earthquakes in line magnitude high fives or sixes would begin to produce liquefaction, lateral spreading, maybe damage to some of the infrastructure and uh, geotechnical works there. And a large enough failure would mean massive interruptions to California's water systems with large scale repairs needed before things were working again. So this relatively mild delta quake was a couple of things. One, it was an unexpected morning jolt. Yeah, the whole place. It shook pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Additionally, it's a sort of trial run, a reminder for our larger scale systems that eventually they're going to have to confront a pretty significant earthquake hazard. All right, think about timing. Uh, you know, here we are in mid October. Think back a couple months ago when the Delta and the rivers running out of the Sierra were absolutely at capacity with water, right? That would change the variable in this equation. If there's a significant earthquake and the, the Delta is just completely swollen with water, uh, yeah, obviously the stakes get a little bit higher, but you know, Juliet, Southern California does not want salt water sent down from the Delta. So this is one of those things that could conceivably happen with the wrong earthquake, the wrong magnitude, the wrong place at the wrong time. You'd have a real mess out here in the Delta. Yeah, so calm right now. Wilson, thank you. And today's quake alerts were not a drill, but tomorrow morning there is a drill plan. The annual Great California Shakeout is scheduled for 1019 a.m. So if you have the MyShake app, expect a test alert then.